There is a link in the description to a free, easy introduction to animation on a Mac course. This video is unique in that it is an explainer video inside a how to make an explainer video tutorial. After the tutorial, there will be more suggested tutorials for you go-getters. So here we go. In order to adjust your dimensions, go to document over here, towards the bottom, go to custom, just type in 1280, tab, and hit 720. Simply command A to grab everything and hit delete. To add a new text box, just click on the T, click inside and start typing away. In order to choose a cool font, select your text, go over to format. Over here in text, you can select from many. There's one that I have downloaded already. And to change the size of your font in format, in text, you go over here and you can just type in. Now that we've made our template slide, we can just simply go right in, select it all, tap, 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 and type away without having to reformat every single time. Transitions are movements from one slide to the next. Animations are when you animate something on a slide to move. There are a bunch to choose from over here. Play around, try a few, see which one seems to work best. Keep in mind it's a whole story and you want to keep mixing it up. And if you'd like to animate something that's on a slide, you merely need to select it and then animate it. You can always change the timing of any animation or transition that you've used. Keep in mind, you won't have things moving the same way all the time, so when you've chosen something, if it automatically goes left to right, you can go over here and switch it so it goes another direction. Always mix it up, keeps people a little bit more interested. There's a rehearse button up here that I've customized in my keynote. There's a tutorial at the end to teach you how to do that. You can also go to play, rehearse slideshow. Again, I've got record here in my customized toolbar. You could also do play, record slideshow. Make sure you turn off your sound and then you can record going through. Make sure you've rehearsed a few times first. If you make a mistake, you can always go uh, in the end and you can import this into something like iMovie or Final Cut Pro to make some changes once you've exported it to QuickTime, which I will show you now. You go up here to File, Export to QuickTime. It may say Movie File or something else depending on which version you're using. The first 
dialog box, just accept it. Choose where to put it so you're able to find it as quickly as possible. The world is a